Hello there, and thanks for joining me once again. In today's tutorial, I'm going to tell you a uh, uh, bluing olive cripple pattern. I had a subscriber request this fly, so I'm going to give it a tie. And so I hope you enjoy this one. So I'll get this guy the vice here and uh, new hook in, and I'll get started. Okay, I'm tying this guy on a size 16 94840 standard dry hook here. Get him locked down the vise, and I'm using Danville, Danville Olive Brown uh, six odd thread here. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is start our thread right behind the eye, and then I'm going to wrap back to just about to the point there. Snip that excess off. Now I want like to get about six or seven strands of wood duck flank fibers here so I'll pull them off tie those in for our tailing material and I want them about the length of the hook there pretty much so I'll tie those in pinch those on top and we'll wrap back on those guys just like so and move the thread forward, snip off the excess there. Okay, now I want a little bit of gray. I'm going to use gray Antron yarn for the shuck here, the trailing shuck over the tail. So we'll tie that in about just a little less than halfway on the tail. Pinch that on top. And we'll wrap back on them here. Then forward. First I'll snip off that excess. Okay, now we'll wrap all that down. Snug. Alright. There's our tail and chuck there. Now I'm ready for the uh, dubbing for the body. And I have some blooming olive super fine and high and dry dubbing here. It's really good quality dry fly dubbing. Dubs on really well too. So I'm just going to put a slight touch of wax on here. You don't even really need any wax for this dubbing, but I'll put a little bit on there. Now we're going to dub a nice fine noodle on here. Keep it nice and sparse, not too heavily th for this guy. So I'll get that on there. Alrighty. Now we're right back first towards the tail there and then we'll come forward just like so okay now there's our body now the next step is the uh, the wing on this cripple and I have two light done CDC feathers here and I'm going to place them against one another put them together tips even then I'm going to stroke the fibers forward just like so here all right and we're going to tie this in so it's about hook shank length so I'll come up pinch that down on top wrap back three to four wraps Make sure it's right on top. That looks fine. Now we're going to come in and snip the butt ends, but we're going to leave a touch of the butt ends there. We want those left in there, like so. Alrighty, next I want to tie in the hackle, and I have a size 16 blue, light blue done dry fly hackle here. And I'm just going to tie this here, right in between the wing and the butt ends, where we've got the thread wraps left there. Tie that guy in. Then I'm going to move my thread in front of the wing. Like so. Okay, now I'll just grab my hack of pliers. And bring that down around. We're going to get probably three or four wraps of hackle in between there. That's plenty. Okay. And we'll just wrap that in between. Okay, probably one more. 
then I'll lift up on that wing and I'm going to come around and up and tie this guy off okay a couple wraps like so behind the hackle and a couple in front to lock them in come and snip them off with the scissor points just like so okay a few more securing wraps there alrighty snip that little straight fiber out then I'm just going to simply come in with the whip finisher and we'll lift up on that and we'll get a four or five turn whip finish in there snug it down tight come in and snip off our excess thread and there we have it another size 16 blueing olive cripple and a lot of times the trout will key in on these uh, flies when they're hatching if they notice one struggling in the water surface and this is just one method you can tie this a cripple pattern there's other ways you can tie you can have a, I've tied them with a hook with an offset shank and the wing laying flat on the side but this is one that you see quite often it's a popular way to tie up so I figured I'd show you this method so anyway I want to thank you so much for watching everyone and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing I'd really appreciate that a lot thank, I thank you for your support and throw in a like too if you wish so until next time everyone Happy tying out there, stay safe, and I'll see you all again soon, and so long for now, folks. Let's see if I can get a little close-up for you here. Look at that.